There is an interesting story about how Nepal got its name. There was, according to a legend, a Hindu sage named Ne, who lived in the Kathmandu Valley thousands of years ago in the prehistoric era. Pal means protection. As the area was under the protection by sage Ne, it became known as Nepal. The kings of different dynasties have ruled the region since then. Nepal used to be the only constitutionally declared Hindu nation on the planet till 2008, when it was declared a federal democratic republic and a secular state. The country's rugged terrain is made up of peaks and valleys. The world's 10 tallest mountains, including Mount Everest, the highest point on the planet, are all a part of Nepal. Over 240 peaks tower at over 20,000 feet above sea level, and the plains are fertile and humid, making them suitable for agriculture. The first people of this land were the Nevars, who spoke the unique Nepali Bhasha. They developed a sophisticated urban civilization not seen elsewhere in the Himalayan foothills. Their contribution to art, sculpture, architecture, literature, music, agriculture and cuisine is evident in Nepal even today. However, Mass migration into Nepal has resulted in the Nevars making up just 5% of the population in their own homeland, and their rich language and culture is rapidly becoming extinct. In Nepal today, 81% of the population is Hindu. But they follow a complex combination of Vajrayana Buddhism and Tantric Hinduism, also referred to as Buddha Marg and Shiv Marg. Over a period of time, elements of these two religions have been interwoven into the ancient Bon religion, making a third unique amalgamation called Tibetan Buddhism.